Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would do a quick video to show you how I pack for day trips. So I know going out with kids can be a little intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. So I'm here to give you some tips today so that you can go out and explore with your family. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Tomorrow we are going on a ferry, which is about an hour away from where we live, to one of the barrier islands in North Carolina. Also, I'm filming this video during the coronavirus lockdown. Our state is starting to open things up, but a lot of things are not open and there's still a big risk. So I'm trying to not bring the kids into buildings or anything. Tip number one, have some kind of baby carrier which will allow you to be hands-free. If you have infants or toddlers, invest in a good baby carrier. This brand I'm using is a Tula Free to Grow. Jackson is 18 months and still fits in this really well and has a lot of room left. I do a back carry and I have a video on how I put him on my back and how I get him off of my back. I will link that here and I will also put the link in the description. This carrier is life changing guys and when you can back carry, you're hands free. So with the Tula, it also has this little pocket here. So I can fit in a diaper and some wipes in here. Tip number two is to have your children be as independent as possible. This is mostly for older kids, but you can do this in different stages depending on how old your child is. Whether we are hiking or biking or going to the beach, my kids have to carry their own waters. So we love to use these little kids camelback backpacks. This little camelback bladder is one and a half liters and camelback has an excellent warranty. You just go on the website and you can order replacement parts if something breaks. So with this little backpack, I have them carry one snack each. So it has a little pouch and we can actually fit several things in here. So if we are hiking and I'm not carrying a lot and I have baby Jackson on my back, kids can carry their own things and they can also carry some of my things as well if needed. And we also have a whistle on here. This is more for when we are hiking. And I will have to do a video on hiking with kids safety stuff too. But this is one of the safety measures we take. So the kids know if they get lost, they draw a circle right where they are in the dirt and they sit in the circle and we call it a nest. They sit in their little nest and they blow their whistle. So these little keychain whistles I just grabbed off Amazon. They are super loud. This is also their beach shelling bags. They have this and they like to put it around their shoulder so it's like a crossbody bag and in here they have these sun hats these are from sun protection zone i got them in a pack of pink and blue off amazon they're really cheap and what i liked about these is that they have the velcro here and we also put in some little containers yeah because we are going to Sand Dollar Island and the Sand Dollars are very fragile. This is his little backpack and in this case we do have sanitizer in a little bag. I need to add that to Juliana's and the snack he picked was a little Kirkland Costco pouch and in his bag he also has two little containers for starfish or whatever he finds. So baby Jackson does not have one of the pouches yet, but we do have one ordered for him. <laughs> so I think he would like to carry his own things too. So I just found this little mesh laundry bag. I love these mesh bags because the water or the sand can just all fall out as they're carrying it. Here is his little sun hat. I also love hooded towels. So this hooded towel is also from Amazon. 
you can button it to make a little sleeve. And these are great for changing under. They can wear this home. So I, we don't have to worry about changing or anything. They can wear this. Here is Jackson's little towel. This is a cat and jack. Oh, is that nice? Look, and it has a little hood. <laughs> you funny. So one of the reasons why I love hooded towels is because it allows my kids to be hands-free. They're not worrying about holding up a towel or anything or whining that they're cold because then if they're hands-free, they can help me carry some of the beach items. So they can carry the beach toys or a chair and they don't have to worry about holding up their towel or being wet and cold. Here is another hooded towel. We like to have one for the pool and one for the beach. This is from Bowden, and this one's getting too small for him, but the pools are closed anyway this year, so. So this is my backpack that I am taking tomorrow. I will keep all of my personal items, like my wallet and my keys on me, hooked to my Tula. So this bag, I am just planning to leave <laughs> on the beach. I put in a towel. I have extra water, I have snacks, and here I have the sunscreen, I have a face sunscreen stick. I am using a mineral sunscreen this year by Bear Republic. We have not tried this brand yet. I have bug spray, I have some disposable masks for each of us. I should also put these, I think I'm also going to put some of these since I have a big bag in the kids little backpacks as well and I have extra sanitizer so in this this is just a wet bag that I got off Amazon and since we are going to an island I have diapers for Jackson wipes and since it's carry out your own trash, I have some little trash bags just in case. Tip number three is to have a car bag. I am using a 31 tote with a tote liner and I also have the lunch box as well. So we are going to be packing a lunch and leaving it in the car. I will pack sandwiches and stuff in here and I will probably leave it in a hard cooler I really do love these 31 totes. We use them all the time. This one, it's not holding up very well. It's already starting to rip, which stinks because we use these for everything. So here I have a change of clothes for everyone, including myself. I have some different snacks. There's some more pouches. Nah. And in my car, I also have this Calen Calm Patet Plus. So this is awesome. I cannot recommend this enough, especially right now when you don't really want to run into a building um, and touch all this stuff and come in contact with everyone right now with COVID. This was also really great for potty training. So what you do is you just pop these open. And there's the little potty. So it has these liners. You put a liner in. And then I just have more little dog bags. And sanitizer in here. And we keep this. Oh, and wipes. Where are the wipes? And I do have wipes in here too. I think someone took them out. I also have a little pack of tissues that I am putting in here to use as toilet paper. And also pop this open and it will sit on top of a potty. There's a little handle here. So they're not touching the public toilet. This is what it looks like with the liner. And it has this little absorbent pad in here. Put a liner in and store it like this. So if there is a bathroom emergency, you can just grab it and pop it up and go. This car potty has saved my sanity so many times. 
traveling with kids and just trying to go out and do things like hiking where bathrooms just aren't available. Tip number four is pack the night before. I am all packed for the night. I am going to go straight and throw this in the car. I am going to make our lunches tonight, but keep that in the fridge so we can just pack it up and go. I'm also going to fill the kids' water bottles tonight and throw those in the car. Sometimes when we have to wake up early, I will pack my kids' clothes in the car as well and just tell them to walk straight to the car in their pajamas. Tip number five is not something you can pack. If you are not ready to go out on your own yet, see if you can find a group of people local to go with you. When I had baby Jackson, going from two kids to three kids yeah. was a hard adjustment for me and I was not ready to do it on my own. I posted in one of our local mom groups that I was looking for some hiking buddies. So I ended up starting a local mom hiking baby group and we would meet once a week and just go hike with our babies. Are we ready to go tomorrow? Say go, go, go. Can you say go? Go, we're ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed that pack with me. I hope you found it helpful and check back for that video on Sand Dollar Island later this week. If you are new here, welcome. I would love to have you as a subscriber. We really appreciate having you here, part of our YouTube family.